Wow, the sliding sucks. <laughs> hey guys, it's me Amanda and today I am going to be answering a bunch of your guys' questions which makes this a QA. and a I really want to do a lot more one-on-one -on -one videos like this. Also, if there's like some annoying echo in this room, um, it's because I cleaned it. So there's like a lot of empty space around me which creates an annoying echo. Also, the lighting is really bad because it's only 6 p.m. in the afternoon but since we're like in that fall winter time, the sun gets down and sets really early. Now it's like dark and the lighting's bad, but I tried. I like turned on every single light in this room, so hopefully it's bearable. But a little bit about me, if you guys like have never seen my videos before, um, which is surprising because if you're clicking on a Q and A's, your first video of watching my channel, like wow, go you for being like a little adventurous. I am currently studying abroad right now in Spain. I'm from California, but yeah, I have been getting a lot of questions about studying abroad. I've been getting a lot of questions on like how I'm feeling, like getting homesick and I don't know, I kind of just wanted to pick a bunch of random questions from you guys and answer them in this one video. If I ended up not answering your question and you guys really want it answered, be sure to comment it, do comment it down below. Or if you want to save it for the next Q&A, be sure to follow me on Insta and I'll let you know when I like want more questions. But yeah, let's get into the video. So first question I'm answering is from stephanie.jpg and she asks, what's the biggest difference between Europe and the States? Um, there are a lot of differences, um, but one of the major ones for me just have to do with food because I love food. Um, they eat at different times during the day, so you kind of just have to get adjusted to that. And on top of that, when you go to restaurants and stuff, the serving size can be a bit smaller depending on where you're eating and another difference I've really noticed is public transportation is a lot better in Europe US step up your game because the metro game right here is real good but yeah those are the different the major differences I've seen art princess Beth asks how is your love life while you're traveling any cute guys anything funny you've encountered with a guy while traveling Ooh, my love life wow so um yeah no love life here really funny though I have been using tinder like not gonna lie while being like in Europe and um it's fun because I get to meet guys that are from Spain or other guys that are traveling a lot of cute guys like really nice guys like while going out to like you know bars and clubs and it's just kind of like fun to get to know where they're from anything funny I've encountered with a guy while traveling um, um, not really things always happen to me when I'm like talking with a guy because I'm kind of awkward and like let's get to the next question Araceli Santos asks where else in the world would you like to travel love your videos Thanks girl right now I'm traveling Europe, but I really want to travel Asia sometime I've always wanted to go to Thailand India China Japan um, I also have always wanted to go to Australia. So I'm like, you know those kind of countries man on good non asked how did you learn to do your makeup? It's always so perfect. Oh, thanks girl. Well, um, first of all, my makeup is not always perfect. I actually like, I don't think I'm that good at it. If you see like makeup gurus on YouTube, like they're good at makeup and I kind of just like do what's best for my face. <laughs> I've been doing makeup since I was in seventh grade and I'm currently a third year in college. So I've been, you know, practicing a lot with the makeup. I kind of learned on my own. I watched a lot of YouTube videos and that's basically it. Yeah. Autumn Bergman asked, do you follow a specific vegan diet or do you just eat whatever is vegan? Um, yeah, I just eat whatever. <laughs> when I first went vegan, I was super strict about it. I was very high carb, low fat. But now I just eat whatever. If there's a vegan pizza or if there's a vegan burrito or like a vegan cookie, I'm gonna get that 100% of the time. And then like the next day, if I'm feeling like really crappy, then I'll have a salad. So it's all about balance for me. So uh, yeah, I just eat whatever's vegan. Chloe Punny asked, what cities are you visiting next? This is a good question because I have kind of been sporadically going places. I don't really have a set schedule of where I'm going but the ones I'm for sure going to the last weekend of November so like November 30th to like December 2nd or 3rd I will be in Amsterdam that's gonna be really fun December 17th through the 20th I'll be in London and Paris and actually before that I'll be in Italy I'll, I'll be in Venice Florence and probably Rome like December 5th through December 9th I don't know I'll put like exact dates places or I'll put them down below but those are like my for sure places I'm going to everything else I've kind of just like been like buying random tickets too. Laura Fnina asked, why did you became a vegan in the first place? I became vegan my senior year of high school and uh, it was because of health reasons. I got super sick my eighth grade or seventh grade year and I uh, ended up getting my appendix removed. I was like real sick. And then my senior year of high school, I ended up getting my gallbladder removed. So I was like two organs down. So I'm like declining in health by now. I just always got sick. I was like never super healthy. So um, I just thought, okay, if I 
cut out all this junk food and animal products and just went vegan I'd probably eat a lot healthier and like wouldn't have to try as hard I went vegan the next day I didn't like you know transition into it like I went vegan and then I slowly learned about like the impact that eating animal products has on the environment and then how it affects like you know the animals themselves so that kind of kept me vegan and yeah now I'm just like enjoying the lifestyle peace I can drum ass since you've been over there what has been your most impactful experience so far I'd say an experience that kind of like you know that really impacted me the most was going to Paris with like my friends and seeing the Eiffel Tower for the first time I don't like using this word a lot but girl I was shook I've dreamed about going to Paris since I was so little and you know I didn't grow up with a lot of money I've never been to Europe before I've never been to other countries so, like the thought of ever going to Paris and seeing the Eiffel Tower kind of seemed far-fetched and like it could never happen but the fact that I made it to Paris and I paid for the like, trip with like my own money it just it made me feel so good inside it kind of opened my eyes and made me see that you know, you can dream about anything, but that doesn't mean it just has to stay a dream. It can, you could definitely make it a reality. So that impacted me a lot. And now I just feel like I'm on top of the world and I can do whatever I want. Ash Laga asked, um, story of your first kiss. LOL. <laughs> I think my first kiss was my junior year or maybe the beginning of my senior year of high school. I waited a while to have my first kiss. Like my game was not that strong. This crush that I had back in sophomore year of high school kind of like hit me up like out of nowhere and said, hey, like do you wanna hang out sometime? He ended up picking me up from my house and we drove to um, a gas station and we got slushies. And then from there we went to a park, hung out for a bit. And then he kind of like went in for that kiss and it was, um there was like a lot of saliva everywhere so like not the most romantic sophia Raffaella <laughs> asked what are your best travel abroad tips how do you stay on a budget while traveling love you <sighs> yellow heart um yellow heart to you too take advantage of every moment that you have if you have a good group of friends going somewhere and like you're kind of interested in going go super fun traveling different countries while being in europe is very cheap compared to like being in the US and then you know buying, buying a ticket to come to Europe. I recommend going on sites like Go Euro, Skyscanner, Student Universe is a website for flights like if you're like a college student. So those three websites I check regularly for flights. Also Google Flights is really good for um you know comparing prices. Julianne26x asked did you decide on the nickname Mandarin yourself or did someone else call you it? This is a good question. I don't think I've ever been asked it before. One of my best friends, his name's Josue. He's been in a, like a few of my videos before he started calling me Mandarin like I think in like freshman year of high school and it kind of just stuck and like uh, like other friends of mine started calling me Mandarin but yeah like that's how it kind of started thanks Josue shout out Dania asked what languages can you speak and if you could learn a new language or new languages what would you want to learn well um I obviously speak English and um también hablo español porque soy mexicana and mis padres me enseñaron español desde cuando era chiquita so I speak Spanish. Je ne parle pas beaucoup de français, mais um, je voudrais pratiquer. <laughs> I took four years of French in high school and it's honestly very sad how little I know. If I could learn any new language, I would want to, um, you know, perfect my French a lot. And um, after learning French, I'd love to learn Italian. Uh, Mia Morsote17 asked, if someone played you in a movie about your life, who would you want it to be? Mm, Jessica Alba or Vanessa Hudgens. Um, Elizabeth Goki asks, I'm traveling to Australia next semester for study abroad. Oh, lucky. Do you have any advice about going abroad? Does homesickness ever get to you? If so, how do you deal with it? I'd say don't bring too, too much. I honestly didn't bring that much stuff but i'm like okay with it because i've been buying stuff here and it's kind of like making up for it i'd say make a list before coming abroad just so you make sure you don't forget anything because that would really suck also with homesickness um i actually do get homesick every once in a while so i just like facetime my mom and like see how she's doing and like you know talk to my niece my little sister i upload a lot of photos on facebook for my family members to see and just having them comment on it it makes me feel a bit better so yeah that's how i deal with it classic hazel asks i am weight restored and everything from my eating disorder but am plagued by thoughts of restriction and desires to lose weight or change myself and i can't get out of the damaging routine of over exercise and then eating lots and feeling guilty do you have any tips sorry for the negative if you guys didn't know i used to have an eating disorder and i had it for like a year to a year and a half it's a very very 
deep mental illness it's um really hard to get out of and especially to get that mentality out of your head honestly like girl the only thing i can really tell you is like it takes time it really does because to this day like when i do exercise i ask myself like am i doing this because i want to be healthy or am i doing this because i want to have like a certain body image that like our society says is like the perfect one to have you just have to get that mentality mentality out of your head and tell yourself like no i want to be healthy exercise is good for me and with overeating, until this day, I'll eat like an entire vegan pizza and I'm just like, I think to myself, wow, like I really should not have eaten that and then I kind of like feel bad about it. But if you fill your body with really healthy foods and you do overeat them, like you shouldn't feel bad about it. The way you should see food is, you know, it's nutrition, it's fuel for your body. It does take time. So I'm super sorry you're in this mental state right now and also don't feel sorry for asking these kinds of questions. That's why, I, you know, I started this YouTube channel. I do want to have an open space on this channel and have like a, a platform where like people can openly talk about their feelings and ask me questions if like if they're struggling through something and want to know my opinion on it but yeah like don't be afraid to ever dm me on instagram guys i'm always here i am like a person just like everyone else i just happen to film myself in a room and like upload it on youtube so yeah love you a lot classic hazel i'm sending you tons of love and hugs and I hope you see this video. All right, guys, and that was my Q&A. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I really did enjoy sitting down and talking to you guys because I haven't done it in like a while. I feel like with all these like vlogs and like travel videos, they're like kind of cool, but they're quick edits. They're not really like me talking to you. And this is. That's why I like it. <laughs> if you guys want to see me traveling to other countries um, or other cities and stuff, be sure to follow me on any of my social media. And yeah, that's basically it. I love you guys a ton. Um, sending you lots of hugs and I just want to say thank you for sitting through this entire thing if you watch this. Love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!